Oh, we're, okay, we're faced in because uh, we, we got punched in the face. Yeah, these things happen, hey. Like, no one's following the Sobe cars for 80, 86 This frickin' car park for frickin' hours. Can AE70. G'day everyone, Daniel Legrady, welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. I've been wandering around Stan's Nation Yamaguchi for a good hour, I think, and I've spotted a car that I just got to go to straight away. Toyota 2000 GT looks to be pretty damn wide. Let's check it out. Now, no way this is a real 2000 GT. No way, but I'm fascinated to learn. <laughs> okay, Miata. <laughs> That is incredible. I mean, the doors, Miata. That is incredible. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm a little bit embarrassed. It's, it's, it is what it is, but it's also cool as heck. That's incredible. First time you're seeing this. Bravo. Absolutely bravo. Well done. Anyway, there's heaps of cool cars. Yes, it does get a bit stancy up in here, but it's just an ocean of... Uh, of interesting cars right now. Okay, they've done something new with the livery. Fantastic. But uh, RX-7's a hoy. Not bad. And uh, uh, another RX-7 over there. And uh, there's just going to be heaps to check out, people. Love a, I love a livery. Do you pronounce it livery or livery? I, I say live and let livery, people. Boom. Now, I was just hanging out with this fella just recently. I don't know where he is. But uh, he also owns a cappuccino. He owns, I forget. But his uh, slammed soada is incredible. It's an early one. We've got tinted, smoky tinted uh, headlights. Oh, geez. Uh, Watts. It's a classic look. Two tone. Dark grey. Oh, light sort of tan interior. That is pretty. Uh, is, is there a tin, tinge of brown in there? I thought it was just straight up black. Wow. As I was. Ah, so this is the work booth, which I'm super keen to see. Yep, you're up, buddy. Just uh, jump in there. That's uh, a nice century slammed. It's been given the VIP treatment. And I'm, I'm not really dwelling here for this car, but for these beautiful at uh, at the work booth and I ran into a fella who um, I think he works and lives in Osaka anyway uh, S30 that's incredible I don't know the body kit is it just a rocket bunny but body kit but that is incredible work equipped uh, I think they're the same as mine uh, that is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so there's this one, and then we've got a Hako Sky. We've got this early sedan, I think. Uh, tail lights. Um, but uh, candy apple red. That's the color of fire extinguishers in Japan, by the way. 
<laughs> like in my factory, they're all candy apple red. <laughs> uh, OS Giken. I think it's Giken. Gaiken? My Hatsuonga. Sumasen. Anyway, Star Road re uh, just. And then, anyway, it's got some bits on it. That's yeah, that's that's incredible. What a what a piece of workmanship that is. Gorgeous. KGC 10, of course. Work. <laughs> My work myself. Of course, it's the work booth, Daniel. But yeah, stunner. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. But something caught my eye, and unfortunately, it's this. That is. What is going on? They, oh, they, they've really gone to town on this one. That's incredible. Incredible. Oh, and a gorgeous S13 two tone cues out of Nagasaki. I'm sure I saw this one. No, maybe not. Maybe, no, maybe it's a different one better than stance is like a bit more normal for my personal tastes but also it's not drifted so that's also unusual um, but I'd love to see it God, that is a rare ass color combination Backyard special. Sure, actually that does ring a bell. But uh, that's incredible. Incredible spoon. That's uh, that's looking beautiful. Beautifully presented. It's a warm all day here. Yes. Oh, they've got the music going. That's very unfortunate. Oh, DJ, no, no, no. Don't keep playing that song. Oh, no. Now, I've come to this place again hoping to speak with the owner. It's a Northern Kyushu car. No, Shimonoseki. No, it's from Honshu. That's on the other side of the ditch. Uh, it's uh, incredible. Z31. And we'll start at the tip. Bit of a front uh, lip there. And, uh, you know, uh, wind, rain, weather, protect, protect, louver, things. Wheels. Um, Made in West Germany. Were these a US wheel though? Kaminari, aerodynamics to 25 years. Turbo, that's, that's sort of sweet too, isn't it? But it's a clean machine. Real clean. Left hand drive. Uh, Hurst, shift knob. Interestingly. Um, that's your boy. It's clean. Oh, T-top. Uh, now this one gets busted out a bit. Manhattan Nissan. I don't know whether someone mass produces and puts them on eBay. But there's one there and there's like... One there and whatever. Sure. But uh, this one's pretty gorgeous. There's no question about it. Yeah. ZZZ in. Yayo. Boom. Thank you very much for coming to Stance Nation. Oh, wide body, 240SX. Notice how I call it a 240SX and not a 180SX? Left hand drive. Bloody American cars coming here stealing Japanese cars' jobs. Okay, eh? see what I'm saying? Outrageous. And check out uh, a couple of cars here, right? So uh, R30 Skyline two-door, given a, a real sort of a unique look, almost a throwback to like uh, 82 ch um, styling uh, th that's a bit of a guess from looking at old magazine street you know real real basic street car magazines like everyone does a backyard job of it I mean <laughs> and, and I mean that with <laughs> some respect <laughs> but uh, it's an interesting look and uh, front lip not a perfect fit whatever um, so I'm interested to know where that's uh, come from but a nice slammed look, side skirts. Now the rear splitter looks to be a bit of a homemade job, which is fine. And uh, strong toe tone. Uh, S130 bonnet, uh, turbo bonnet vents, pretty interesting. And then this car, chatted with the owner, had a good old chat, nice fella. 
and um, he got this work done. Martini, livery, wide body, absolutely looking fantastic. So must say. Uh, BBS fatties, you know, this is incredible. And he's on Insta, Super Cab Chun. Check it out. But uh, that's a strong look, and it's looking, it's looking better now that it's got a bit of space around it. Because I saw it at a car show in Iwakuni, and it was sort of jammed in there with uh, a bunch of other cars, and a bit hard to appreciate. You know what I'm saying? Boom, and then uh, a bit of a, a bit of a Miata here. Um, oof. Oh, it's got a bit of presence. Yeah, and then more. Miatas ahoy. Miatas up the wazoo, as they say. Oh, we've got the blinky look and we've also got laurel. <laughs> Side markers. Incredible. Is that my Ah. Um, had a great chat with this dude. He is uh, out near Osaka and he's got his own garage. There's, I'll get the name in a sec, Generation Tech, that's it. And uh, yeah, I had a great old chat with him. It's got um, garage active body kit. Oh, Pontora! Kizite na kata! Yeah, garage active body kit. Oh, of course! But there's a bit of finesse going on with the paint on the bonnet, which is most interesting. And then you've got your FRP wide body front fender skirt. Door is your, your carbon fiber. And he cracked that door and I could see the, the, the actual weave all the way down in the frame. It was just incredible. And of course, continuing on with the um, FRP uh, garage active rear wide body. And then uh, there's of course the rear spoiler which is uh, another carbon fibre jobby. Looks incredible. That's a sweet weave on that. That is gorgeous. It's a top look, people. And had a legendary chat with uh, the guy who's putting this car together. Very surprised to learn that um, he says this is halfway there still. Um, there's uh, a new gearbox that's got to go into it. Uh, differential's got to be... Um, a new one's got to be sourced and installed in there. Uh, the engine even, he said uh, he's going to go to a larger capacity. When a car show is coming up, he does a bunch of work on it. But other than that, he's got to do customers' cars most of the time. So uh, he's a busy fella. There he is over there, he's just doing some exercise. But uh, it's going to take him a long time to get this car um, good to go. He's also going to go for 17 inch wheels, which means body kit has to be uh, sorted yet again. So. Uh, is all about you know baby steps and then big steps and then backward steps and then forward steps again it's just incredible people i just spotted something absolutely incredible and if i had missed this i would have kicked myself real hard jaguar a low zip jag um <laughs> That's incredible. That's incredible. Bravo. Absolutely bravo. It is gorgeous. I don't know if that's part of the build, but if it is, it's... No. <laughs> okay. I'm being a goose. Um, crap. That's incredible. I gotta stop for photos, people. I gotta stop for photos. Damn. Epic noises, people. But let's move on past the S13 to this wide body R32 sedan. I, I um, it's 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 a bit rough and tumble, people, but I still love it. And Liberty Work, Liberty Walk in Yamaguchi Prefecture, apparently. This is their booth, of course it is. And the guy who owns it, he, he's likes, he likes his Qsha. So we've got a, um, a GC110. It's, uh, wow, it's pretty. Um, understated, subtle. Uh, Laurel indicators, of course, early grill. Honda Odyssey, wow, that's a look. 
who's doing our freaking Honda Odysseys? No one. What do you think, people? Oh, 1986 right there. Um, Um, it's, uh, it's, I'm all about R33s now, people. I think my underappreciation of them in the past has led me to, uh, their appreciation. Uh, I'm not saying well, white's a good look either, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and, uh, this blue beauty, I have seen it in action, uh, on several occasions. Uh, it's, it's a stunner, there's no question. Yeah, he won the war, we don't know what it is. And I'm not hanging around either, <laughs> to be honest. I got people to do and places to go. Yo, this is some rare right here. It's super challenging with the wind, but here we go. I was trawling this frickin' car park for frickin' hours thinking, where are all the forgotten cars? Ah, see the answers in the question, they're all forgotten. And then look at this, a frickin' AE70 uh, Sprinter.